Hey guys, this is Ahmed from Sildem Tutorials and in this video I'm gonna cover how can we recover the root password of Elastix 4 so say that you lost your most important password in your system which is the root password so what are you gonna have or what are you gonna do the answer is it's not impossible and it's not so easy right but it is possible so the, the servers right now can be one of two kinds the first kind it can be virtual vir <coughs> virtualized under VMware system like open Solu VMS or open VZ or ESXi etc or it can be installed physically on the hardware so no no virtualization so in the first case if you don't have virtualization you have to be close to that server and in a clear clearly you have to be physically close to the server as an example you have the server in your server room you gotta go up and connect a screen keyboard to your server and you have to follow after that the steps that I'm gonna using in this tutorial right the other scenario if you have your server that is hosted like the video or like the server that I'm going to do in this video I have my server that is hosted under ESXi 5.5 and it's gonna be easy to me to manage the server like doing reboot start etc so this case can be easy to me but the first case when you have the server that is in your server room the server installed completely on your hardware so you have to climb the ladder or reach your server room whatever is it and follow the steps that I'm gonna write here so the first step is once the system is booting this is in the initialization process before the system loading and when it is in the grub menu you just hit E E which is equal to edit right and you gotta look for the line that is start with Linux 16 right look up at the line that is start with the Linux 16 and change the read only with that line if you didn't understand right now we can understand next in a few moments then you get a control X after you do the change then you hit change root slash sysroot sysroot sorry then change the password of the root using pass wd root then you get a reboot of your system once you do that you can log in to your server with a new password now I, I don't know what the password is in my server but I would like to change or reset the password to be one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is my server right I can ping the server but unfortunately when I log in by root I cannot because I lost the password so again the root password is the most important password in your system without the root password you cannot troubleshoot the problems you cannot reset the GUI password by the way I have covered in one of the previous videos of, ca of how can you recover the GUI and when you want to recover the GUI you have to be owning the root so again the root is the most important and you should be always have access to your root password right so again in this video I'm gonna cover the uh, the, the, the restor restoration process under ESXi so I can reboot boot anything I can do from the uh, GUI without being closed and physical in the server room right so let's follow the steps number one you gotta reboot the server right 
Now I hit reboot and now it's rebooting and here in the grab menu I'm gonna click E right here number one I click on E once I do that I would like to go to the line that starts with Linux 16 and change read only with read write in it equal to sysroot bin sh and if I scroll down scroll down right I have found it this is the line that I'm looking for Linux 16 so I move 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 until I reach this is the read only I'm gonna check and change I say read write in it equal to slash sysroot bin sh bin slash sh then what else I press control x control x and now it will boot in the emergency mode once it do that I say change root slash sys, sys root change root slash sys root then I'm gonna reset the password of root I say pass wd root and I say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and what it say? It say all the authentication tokens updated successfully. This is an indication that the password has been done in the process. The password changed in the process. Now what else? I can do reboot. Yes. And now as natural, don't do anything. Natural reboot. And now, you know, let's write from the SSH right here. So again, the server is up. And now I say SSH minus login root 10, 40, 50, 2, 4, 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Great. I am in my PBX. So, this is the process that I followed. If you want more information, you can visit my websites. And I hope this video has been informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing. If you like my video, you can subscribe. Kindly you subscribe my videos, my channel, and like my video and give me a great comment. Thank you so much and see you next time with a newer video.